Philadelphia Orlando was part of Kenya's Rugby Sevens women's squad that made history in the Rio 2016 by being part of only the second female team to compete for the nation at an Olympics. The postponement of Tokyo 2020 applied the brakes on Orlando's ambition to fire the Kenyan Lionesses to a better performance than Rio 2016. CGTN's Mohamed Abubakar brings us her story. The COVID-19 containment measures in Kenya has seriously affected professional athletes in the country. For Philadelphia Orlando, the Kenya women rugby team captain, the country's continued lockdown on sporting facilities and events has forced her to adopt a new routine. Uh, when it started, like the lockdown, we were staying indoors. Like, we were scared of what if I go out there and get this virus and get them to my siblings, what will happen? So I stayed a bit locked myself in the house. That's where I identified the rooftop. And I had to be creative with myself also, like I cannot just sit in the house, do nothing. I need to get something going, I need to keep fit also. And uh, I also go to, to look for some people I can train during this time because it's not easy. I need to hustle at the end of the day because now my income is not coming, you see. And also the national team, you only get paid when you're training. Now everything is not working for us as athletes. Prior to the postponement of the Tokyo 2020 Olympics to next year, Philadelphia was on a tight scheduled road to recovery from an injury. She recalls the exact moment she learned of the news. Actually, my physio is the one who told me like, uh, do you know Olympic has been postponed? I was not actually aware because I was just praying and hoping that things were going to work out on us. So when my physio told me, like, do you know, like, there's, there's not going to be Olympic this year, then I said, what do you mean? Are you serious? But one thing he told me, like, now you have all time to recover and get better. You don't need to rush on anything. You just need to take your time now to get better. <coughs> Despite the personal good news, Philadelphia still feels empty whenever she passes by the national team's training ground. I miss my teammates. I miss... The whole thing here, like passing the ball, getting tackled, like uh, playing around with my teammates. This is something I missed, like four months being away from your teammates. You know, we were like a family. With uncertainty still surrounding the rescheduled Tokyo 2020 games next year, Philadelphia hopes that she and her teammates will not have to bear any more bad news. Mentally, I'm not prepared for any sad or bad news about Olympics come next year. I'm hoping that things will get better because it's everyone's dream to be at the Olympics game. And, and I'm just saying, not only Olympics, because if Olympics won't be there, how about other games, you see? That one will be, will be very crazy for us as a team. And for me, I think it will kill me because I've been really working hard and hoping that I can make it to the second, my second time in Olympics. One thing for certain is, Philadelphia Orlando and the Kenya Lionesses just hope they'll soon be able to reunite as a team and scrum again on this field. Mohamed Abubakar, CGTN.